Hi friends, it's Ruth from the Wilmette Public Library here to share a STEAM activity that you can do at home. So today's STEAM activity is the Zipline Challenge. And you can do this with materials you have at home, or you can stop by the library and pick up one of our pre-made STEAM kits that has everything you need inside. Let me show you. In your STEAM kit, you'll find some string, a bear, some straws, some pipe cleaners, a few cups, and some paper clips. In addition, you might also want to have some scissors and tape on hand. Have you ever seen or been on a zip line? A zip line is basically a string or a cable that is stretched between two points and serves as a transportation system. The two points are at different elevations or heights, so one's a little higher than the other, um, and this allows objects to slide down the string with the force of gravity. The trick is to get the object to slide down the string safely without falling off. And that is our challenge for today. We need to design something to allow this bear to safely slide down our zip line. Let's start by building a zip line so that we have something to test on. For this, you wanna take your string and attach one end at a high point and the other end of the string at a lower point. Next. We're gonna test our bear. You ready, little bear? Okay, hop up here and slide. Ooh, he didn't slide very well, did he? Nope. That means we need to put on our thinking caps and check out the rest of our supplies here and see if there's anything we can use to help this bear get down the zip line. We have here maybe some cups, a pipe cleaner, maybe this paper clip. There's lots of choices. This is the part where you get to get creative and design something awesome. Sometimes when I'm designing something, I like to draw out my ideas first. Other times I like to just dive right in and start building. Either way will work for this. Um, but my advice to you is to build something, try it, observe it, and see if you can make it better and then try it again. Engineers and inventors seldom solve their problems on their first try. And actually, they learn a lot by making mistakes and learning from them and trying again. So don't be discouraged if the first thing you try doesn't work. Um, try it again and make it better. There are many ways to solve this challenge, so be creative and have fun. 